another day, another day on the grind here at New York border. Guys, today we're here in Lindbrook, New York. We're about to replace 50 feet. That's right, 50 feet of a four inch shoe line. But guys, come on down and let's check it out. And I'm gonna show you what it is to be Louis the Borderman here at New York border and Necklace Repair. Let's go. Guys, we're in the basement and I wanna show you the pipe. This is what we're replacing, look at this. This is all of 50 plus years of accumulation of just, you know, water, sewage, you know, cause this is the sewer pipe. So you can see the integrity of the pipe is, is long gone for many, many years. And it's gotten worse and worse. This was actually the hole. It is bigger than that, but it was actually the hole, you guys can see. So this area was not an area that we cut. This actually was the part that this actually disintegrated. And what happened was throughout the course of the years, it broke and, and what happened is that I have backups. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious, I would say, that it was time or it was long due to replace the pipe. You know, this is something you can see in your home. I mean, it's obvious, but a lot of times, you guys don't notice it because do you see this? Sometimes this is the bottom of the pipe. Why? Because the water sits on top of the pipe and this would be the belly. This would be the bottom of the actual pipe. You can picture it, it's just upside down. But water is very corrosive. So, you know, through the humidity, through all the years, you know, just wear and tear, this is exactly what happens. This is what I'm telling you. You want a nice straight flush cut. Look at the cut that we did on the pipe. It's nice and straight. This is exactly what you want because you want to put a, a coupling on the actual pipe. We call it a no hub coupling or we have a husky coupling. It's different type of couplings. But you want to transition from soil pipe to PVC. So you guys can see. Now this, I recommend him to change this because this is on its way out too. But it didn't fit his budget. But this actually, believe it or not, it looks like crap. But I looked at the pipe. It's a pretty solid shape. When I replace him, yes. But it's not in the budget, but this is something he wants to do maybe in a couple of months. So I suggest doing everything I want. Listen, I want to give you a little visual because as we're putting the pipe together and we're going downstream, we have to support the pipe. I'm going to support the pipe. I would say about every five feet, we're going to put a clever hanger. This is what a clever hanger looks like. Just to give you a little visual, if you guys can imagine it, it goes like this. You get supported. There's a Sammy screw, which we call this is what it looks like. So this side is wood and this side is 3 8 rod. So if you guys could visualize it, this goes into the beam. There's going to be a 3 8 rod from this point to this point which is the clevis hanger. You're gonna have some washer, some nuts, and you're gonna adjust it. So as you're adjusting the actual nut, this is actually gonna go higher, higher, and it's gonna support the pipe. Alright, mi gente, guys, it's a little bit uncomfortable basement to work in because, as you guys can see, I'm 5'7 <laughs> and I'm like hunched back. So, this job is just a little uncomfortable, so it is what it is. But it is the PVC pipe they're gonna be using. It's a Schedule 40 pipe. So, this is exactly what you guys are gonna be seeing up put in. So, we have 4 inch pipe right here and we have 2 inch pipe here. And we have other materials on the way. So, I'm gonna show you in the video what it's about to replace piping because pipe, people think pipe is, is that easy. It's not super hard, it's not super difficult, but you do have to have experience, you know what you're doing. And of course, you always gotta consider that you have to pitch a downward pitch. <clears throat> Why you need a pitch? Because obviously, one don't go up, one goes down. So this is the highest point. At the end of the run, it's the lowest point. So we always wanna make sure we have about a quarter inch pitch heading downstream. So when they flush the toilet, all that water goes right to the sewer.
All right, guys? So listen, man, this is what it is. You wanna be a plumber, wanna be a plumber? This is what it takes to be a plumber. So listen, subscribe, hit the bell button, DM us, whatever it takes. We'll love to hear from you. If you have any feedback, I wanna hear this feedback. So tell us, and if anything you wanna know about Louis the Borderman, or any questions you have, please, by all means, let us know. We'll be more than happy to answer those questions. With that being said, woo! -wee!